All right, guys. So I want to take a look at this Gigabyte 1660 regular edition GPU on TVX Miner, but I also want to do something a little different where I have a kilowatt meter connected to the server power supply, but then this is connected to a custom made um, PCIe meter I created and it's connected to the GPU and to the riser. So what I'm seeing here is it's 106 watts on the wire. The power supply is 123 watts. So there is about 20 watts unaccounted for. And then on, on a miner, T-Rex miner on uh, ETH right now, I'm getting about 90 watts and 25.9 mega hash on ETH. So I'm gonna switch this over to other algorithms, but we're getting about 25.9. All right, now I'll switch it over to Ravencoin, Kapow, and we're getting about 12.6 mega hash on this. These are my overclocks here. On the power supply, 100, uh, 122. And on the meter, on the wire itself, it's uh, 106. Ergo, we're getting about 56.67 mega hash and it's pretty consistent all the way through about 86 watts on the software on the wire itself it's about 100 and then the power supply is 115 so 15 watts unaccounted for and I'm using the same overclock as as previously all right, this is the last coin I'm going to be looking at, which is Conflux on Nanopool. And we're getting about 23.96 mega hash. Power consumption is about 90 watts. Power supply is at 120. On the cable, we're getting about 106. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch out this cable. The only power, the GPU, I'm going to remove it from um, the riser and connect something else to it just to verify if this is actually reading correctly. I should be getting 90 watts at the GPU and the remainder at the riser. So let's see if that that works. All right, so I'm trying this out now. So the PDU is connected to the the PCI meter, right? And then after that, it's connected to the, the riser. Then this is also connected to the GPU on top. So right now, the power supply is getting 120 watts to it. The riser, according to the meter here, is getting about 35.3 um, watts. And then on T-Rex Miner for ETH, we're getting about 80, 90 watts according to the software. All right, now when I switch this over so that the meter is connected to the GPU and then the PDU for the power supply is connected to the riser, now we're getting about 78 on this, this cord that's going to the GPU. And before we were only getting 35 on the riser, in total we're getting about 111 and before when I tested this as a with the splitter you know to both the GPU and the riser we're getting about uh, anywhere from 1 106 no yeah 106 to 111 so basically this is equaling out to what the total system was getting which is lower than the actual power supply. So this kind of confirms a few things that this might be, the system software might be a little higher than what is actually 
on the cord itself or it could mean that my design of this box is incorrect. There's definitely some resistance with the shunt. So this is probably bringing those values up higher or lower. And I think I need an electrical engineer or a computer, computer um, technician or someone that understands this better than I do. But this is one way I tried to figure this out because it seems like the this power supply is always higher than what is reported on the software and I just want to get more clarity on it so there you go I could probably connect this to an external power supply and power it that way to avoid any type of loss but I think this is pretty accurate it's probably off by like five five watts or so yeah thanks for watching please like and comment on this video Thank you.